turn out to a list out everyone should be aware of. We're talking about the top 10 more, most dangerous areas for pedestrians in Indianapolis, a city unveiling that today, along with a plan to make your walk to work much safer. The Now's Ann Kelly's on the north side to explain. And Raphael, I'm reporting right now from one of those areas, 86th Street between Harcourt and Michigan Road. The city saying this area is one of several that is notorious for crashes involving pedestrians. And one woman I talked to just moments ago telling me part of the reason may be because of intersections like this one, where the walk signal buttons are rusted out and no longer working. According to Sharon Oswald, it's the lack of walk signals. It's signals that are too short, don't give pedestrians enough time to cross. It's inconsiderate drivers. Drivers don't stop at the white lines in the intersection. They pull on through. There are plenty of likely reasons. She says 86th Street between Harcourt and Michigan sees more people getting hit by cars than in other areas. Have you got close calls then? Yeah, because they there's a stop sign and there's a right turn lane and they don't look. While Oswald hasn't been hit, countless others haven't been so lucky. New numbers out today showing between 2010 and 2014, there were more than 1,100 pedestrian crashes in our city. 82 people were killed. It's those numbers the nonprofit Health by Design has studied to figure out the most dangerous areas for pedestrians. Also making the list, 38th Street between Meridian and Crown Hill Cemetery, where Terry Burnett works with her church several times a day. The pedestrians, to me, are taking a gamble when they're trying to cross the street. Bottom line, from 86th Street to 38th Street and in eight other high-traffic areas, people are getting hit regularly. They're getting killed. And now some direction that will possibly lead to change. Tomorrow, each identified area is set to be studied by a team of professionals. They plan to figure out why the area are so dangerous and come up with a plan for how to make them safer. Reporting for the Now Indy, Ann Kelly, RTV6. And thank you. We have the complete list of dangerous areas for pedestrians of the top places where people are getting injured up on our website, theindychannel.com.